What? What? Bro, what? This is wild, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Organizer. Bro, that is freaking wild. It's got a plug in. Dude. This is nuts, man. Yo, dude, I'm at a loss for freaking words right now. What the f <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll put it to you. Dude, I'm, I already have a tape measure out. I'm like, damn, where the hell am I gonna put this thing? <laughs> yeah, I haven't even opened it up yet. I'm just staring at it, sitting in the driveway. Yeah, I just, I literally just woke up to it getting delivered. I was up till like four in the morning painting my damn living room. <laughs> I, I woke up to Josh banging on the door. He's like, hey bro, I think you're getting something delivered out here. I'm like, what the fuck? I saw him pulling it off the, the loading dock on the back. I was like, no way, man. Yeah, no, it's definitely a dope ass surprise, man. I appreciate it for sure. All right, so I was up till like four o'clock in the morning painting the damn living room. So yeah, I slept, it's like 10 o'clock in the morning right now. But yeah, I literally woke up to this getting dropped off, dude. So subscriber hit me up. A uh, guy by the name of Christopher. I have his Instagram on the screen right now, but dude hit me up on IG. He's like, hey, bro, like, I, I've noticed all the hard work you've been putting in lately, like, uh, with like daily videos and all that stuff, and just, I want to get you something, basically. And I woke up this morning, and this, this is getting dropped off, man. Like, <laughs> I never expected something like this. Holy guy, I genuinely thought maybe he was sending like consumables, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like a bunch of super clean and some rags and shit or something. I don't, yeah, her, yeah, Red Bulls, there you go, from Home Depot. <laughs> the hell dude this is wild man and i've been needing a new toolbox like yeah I, I was i was looking at maybe i was i was gonna potentially buy one but i was looking at them used like on a marketplace and stuff because like you guys already know me i'm always balling on a budget <laughs> i figured the same toolbox on marketplace for a couple hundred bucks versus a few hundred bucks at the store but dude this is awesome. <sighs> like i i'm gonna be straight up with you guys my craftsman box in here I bought that myself like years and years and years ago, bro. And like it is, this was like the nicest toolbox that I've ever had, bro. Like, I mean, until now, of course, like now this is the nicest toolbox I've ever had. Jesus, it's got plugins and shit. So yeah, we'll be able to put like the battery chargers and stuff for the drills on in there. I don't know, dude, but I'm excited. We gotta get it out of the box and get it put together. I still have no idea where it is I'm gonna put it in here. Cause it won't fit in the laundry room. <laughs> Get rid of the washer and dryer. There you go. Don't need those. That's how you do it. Don't need a washer and dryer. You're right. Josh, what does that box say? LMC truck. <laughs> the hell, <K> shameless. <laughs> shameless plug. There you go. Anyhow, Josh is headed out to go drop off some orders for you guys. This has become a daily event for you, huh? Pretty much. Hell yeah. Those are people getting entered to win the seats. Don't sleep, bro. Don't sleep. <laughs> what the fuck? Screw that. We gotta get the whole experience opening this thing up, man. I'm not just gonna set you guys on a tripod. What the hell? Freaking ducks flying through the air right now, quacking. All right. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there's all kinds of foam, bro. <laughs> Always need big ass cardboard. <laughs> I'm a hoarder of cardboard. What can I say? Dang, all the drawers got like. It's got like mats for the drawers, I think. Dude. Oh, the wheels gotta be in here somewhere, huh? Probably right here. Handle and caster, yeah. The wheels are in there. This is supposed to be all of our wheels. What's this? Little brackets and stuff. Oh, I guess I'll figure it out here in a moment. Hell yeah. Eesh. 
We go heavy duty ass freaking wheels, bro. <laughs> That's what's up. Got the little locks on them. Assume there's a hardware. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the wheels and everything on, and then we'll open up the top box. Almost. Oh, wedge. Bro. I've seen these in those massaging porns. <laughs> a, little <bigger> <laughs> a little bit of a different type of wedge, huh? New part of Josh's duties is to pick up after me. I gotta go home. Pick up my mat. <laughs> gotta go home. Good. The tutor waiting up. Oh, oh god, it's heavy. Oh lord. Whoa, it's got the freaking the little uh, shock. Dude, sick, bro. This is that freaking toolbox. It was always at Home Depot that you walk up to, you like play with. God got it. Like, dang. oh, how do I get the top box onto the bottom? <laughs> well, no shit. Get rod. My point is, it's heavy. It's heavy. You gotta get the engine hoist out. <laughs> we know how good you are with it. Huh? We said we all know how good you are with pound it. Oh my god. I'm good at pounding. What can I say? Sometimes I go a little too far. <laughs> hey, you wanted, you wanted to bring up that conversation, okay? Wait, what? Huh? What are you lifting it? There's a handle? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what handle. Oh my god, it's heavy. Yeah. I told you it was heavy. <laughs> Bro, this thing is like huge once you get it all stacked up like this, huh? All right, guys, well, there it is, man. And as much as I would really love to just start going through all my tools and get it all loaded up and honestly find a place to put this damn thing, because that's not going to fit in the laundry room, for one. Um, and for two, I basically have all my wall space taken up in the garage. So what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to go through all this crap up here and maybe cut this thing down quite a bit to where this, to where the toolbox will fit over here against this wall. Um, and then just make this thing smaller. Maybe get rid of this 55 gallon drum. I got this for keeping E85, but I literally never use it anymore. So maybe get rid of this drum. I could scoot this down some and figure how much I need to cut off of it in order to utilize enough wall space to be able to put this thing over here. And let's face it, man, I need to um, I need to cut down on my area for collecting crap because this thing definitely collects a lot of crap. But I know that's gonna turn into an OCD attack, bro. I'm gonna end up going through my tools and just like trying to organize and it, it'll turn into an all day, if not a two day process. Huge shout out to Christopher once again, man. I really do appreciate it, dog. Like this is, like when you said you were sending something out, like I did not expect something like this. And this is crazy. Just goes to show how strong the db fam is dude this is wild man like ugh. anyhow on with today's video man i need to um well first i need to go and take a shower and get dressed for the day Things heavy.
Well, here we are again, man. Me trying to get stuff cleaned up out of my backyard. But you know what? This time it actually has purpose. So the avalanche that we just took to the scrapyard, that was Junior's deal. Like that was an avalanche he had at his house. It was a buddy of his. Um, they pulled the engine and stuff out of it and they didn't want it anymore. So uh, since I currently have Junior's trailer, um, I took it down to the scrapyard for him. But I did keep the rear end out of it because it is a good rear end. And if, if, I end up needing something a little bit beefier or something stronger to put inside of the 64. I would like to have this sitting here. You know what I mean? I mean, obviously all this craziness would have to be cut off and it have to be altered to be able to fit. But worst case scenario, I'll just sell it for, you know, a couple hundred bucks or something off Facebook. I don't freaking know. But um, this DA over here, it has an LS in it that is completely full of shit bro <laughs> like, like all the spark plug holes um i don't think there's any spark plugs in it either like the little pcv hole like everywhere where there's a hole you can see it's completely filled with dirt dude um the sun has went down so now we're kind of stuck working out here in the dark <laughs> i put a i hung a light up here in the tree so i can see what i'm doing but honestly i think the engine is probably junk um, I mean you guys already know it could be cleaned up. It could be sent to the machine shop It's pr more than likely a good block. I mean, it's just an LS head So the head really ain't worth anything, but I figured I at least ought to just keep the whole thing because um, it, it could be potentially a good block. It may just need to be cleaned up, man. Who knows? The engine harness on this also looks pretty good. I do know the cabin harness and all that. Um, it might have been good at one time, but from all the people that's come over, like many people have come out here and grabbed clips and stuff off of it. So I'm not even going to try with the cabin harness. Plus, it's just completely full of shit. Um, I don't know what else really to keep off of this. The uh, passenger side doors beat the shit. The car is junk, bro. If you see the roof is all caved in. Yeah, that's the reason why we aren't going to do anything with this car. I might go ahead and pull the mirrors off because it looks like the... Oh, this one's cracked. Lovely. Well, that one's cracked. Um, I do need to get the gas tank out of it because um, I took that avalanche down there right now. And after they picked it up, whenever I cut the clip, um, the dude came out freaking pissed because there was a gas tank on it. And I'm like, don't worry, bro. Like, there's no gas in it. And then they used that claw and they went and pulled the gas tank off and it bursted and it was just completely full of fuel <laughs> it was completely full of gas bro um junior warned me that i needed to take the damn gas tank off or drain it or something but i just i i honestly didn't feel like doing it man i just wanted to get it done so i took it down to the scrap yard and the guy got so pissed off about the gas that he was like i'm not gonna pay you for this thing lesson learned so now uh, i'm gonna make sure to pull the gas tank off this damn integra but for the time being i'm just trying to get the engine and transmission out of it I should make a TikTok with this. I'm about to do some sketchy shit, sketchy shit, sketchy shit. Hopefully I don't kill myself because I'm kind of home by myself. Not the best removal technique, but it's effective. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh my god. The dead beat on the YouTube channel. So if you haven't already what the? <sighs> god. Yeah. Camera's soaking wet. Love it. It, it literally just started pouring rain like out of nowhere, bro like I was taking a little break. I was watching Robbie V's video All right, so the sudden downpour aside uh, Robbie V posted up his video going through my transmission. So definitely go check it out Bro, watch, watch this freaking intro watch this intro Oh my 
my god, man. <laughs> I cannot wait till my truck sounds like that. I cannot freaking wait. But anyhow, yeah, so now it's freaking pouring rain. And, um, crap, man. I got tools out there. I got an extension cord running with my light going on and all that shit. Like, I was not at all prepared for it to freaking rain. Jesus, man. Ugh, gotta try to keep you guys dry. Well, that really screws my plans up, man. I need to go get a rag and dry my camera. All right, it stopped raining. Honestly, it rained long enough just to mess everything up, bro. So, um, my goal for tonight is to at least get everything on the front done. So, I want to get the steering knuckles and the brakes. I don't know what kind of camber kit this is, but I'm going to pull that off as well and keep it. And uh, the front coilovers. These are like some of those old school Takikos. Looks like it has like tea and springs on it or something. It's like a tea and green anyway, but yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep that entire setup uh, driver side and passenger side because I Probably am going to end up using the larger brakes on the EF So got the engine pretty much out the engine and trans so I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff off So we can set the car down and then I'm gonna worry tomorrow about getting the gas tank out and getting the rear disc off um, I'm going to take the whole rear trailing arm and the rear disc brakes and stuff as well. So I can also have that set aside uh, for the EF. So um, I'm just trying to build up all the parts and stuff that I'm going to need. So whenever it comes time to work on the EF, man, we can just be smooth sailing, man. I want that to be a dope ass little daily driver. Oh, almost took me out. Brake line. I'm guessing Braden robbed all the bolts out of the couch. stuck on there, what the hell? Yep, I woke up this morning to it freaking pouring down rain once again, man. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. It's freaking ridiculous, I tell you. Freaking ridiculous. So, all right. Whew. So, not only is my backyard going to be muddy, but everything's freaking wet. So, uh, I went ahead and I got everything ready last night. So, it's going to be pretty easy. You know what I'm saying? I already got the car jacked up. I already got the rear hatch propped open so we can get the bolts out of the top of the suspension. Um, so for the most part, I need to get uh, the rear trailing arms and brakes, everything, uh, suspension all pulled off the back, and I have to pull that gas tank out right there. So um, other than that, I want to grab a bunch of like miscellaneous stuff around the yard, like a bunch of metal crap, and just throw it inside or whatever, um, and then go get this dropped off at the scrap yard. My freaking tools out here in a puddle of water. Look at this. Anyhow, the rain's not gonna stop me. I need to get this done, but I am gonna go ahead and switch over to my water proof camera unfortunately but you know you guys already know i can't stand the audio on this damn thing but what can you do man what can you do <laughs> i have to get this done um it's supposed to rain well it's like a 50 to 80 percent chance of rain all the way up until like three o'clock bro and of course all the way up until bear gets home from school and so this morning time hours this is the time that i have to get this kind of stuff done to where i'm able to actually leave the house so I gotta do it now or I won't be able to do it at all. It just keeps raining harder and harder. Then it stops for a second and then it rains even harder. So yeah, I gotta get this done so we can get this damn car dropped off. Hey, you guys hear me in there? <laughs> yeah, I got the uh, rear trailing arms off. I got the rear trailing arms, the suspension, everything off. Got the dang gas tank out. There's a little bit of gas in there. That just stinks, bro. <sighs> but yeah other than that now i just want to i got like a bunch of doors and stuff i want to throw inside of here and just take it with it you know what i'm saying but 
Yes, sir. Pretty much it. I need to try to get my freaking chain out of there, too. The car is, like, sitting on it, so... Damn it, I should also get this clutch cable. Definitely should get this clutch cable. I hate doing anything inside of this car because this thing is embedded with rat shit. Like, there is so much rat shit inside of this damn thing. Like, it's disgusting. But, yeah, um, anyhow... Like I said, I'm going to throw some more stuff in here. And I'm going to go put some dry clothes on. I'm literally soaking wet right now. And then, um, then hit the road. <laughs> so when I was when I was taking everything off the car, I just wanted to put it out there. I literally kept every nut and bolt. Every nut and bolt, bro, went into a bucket. Dude, it's really coming down, man. I still gotta strap that thing off. Anyhow, whoever it is that keeps commenting that Josh is always on the phone in the background. Um, he's literally like replying to emails and shit like that. Like he He's constantly trying to get a hold of companies and like putting the brand out there and looking for deals and everything, you know? So like he's always doing something. Besides, he's just hey, instead of him doing that inside of the office in the house, he's out here hanging out. So if I need a hand with something, I say, hey Josh, give me a hand with something. <laughs> Bye bye, Integra. Yee! Poor thing. All oh, right over that dude. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> right over that guy. That was nuts, and he took that over that I guy's was head, bro. Surprised. That's crazy. That dude's probably gonna get yelled at. That's it for today, guys. I'm just trying to get some stuff cleaned up out of my backyard, get some things organized. You guys already know, I gotta do this every once in a while because I just accumulate too much crap, bro. Anyhow, don't sleep on the seats. We got four days left. Four days left. So get yourself entered. Um, and I just wanna put it out there. If you're not stoked about the seats, if the seats aren't your thing, like you're not feeling the red or you just don't need a set of seats or something like that, I just do wanna put it out there that if you do end up winning the seats and you don't really want them or, or care for them, um, I'll cash you out, bro. Like I'll just send you the, uh, the actual money value of the seats instead of sending you the seats. That'll be completely on the winner, man. You know what I'm saying? So um, if you wanna get entered for the seats, uh, you want to grab yourself some merch you got four days left and like i said if you're if you don't really care about the seats i'll cash you out so anyhow guys i hope you enjoyed today's video uh we have a whole lot of content coming up for the month of march is going to be a very honda heavy freaking month man just to put that out there so peace out guys and i'll see you next week oh and have a good weekend later